My people have on a day, I salute on according to the time, or depending on how I want to the listen to us now. I welcome you to this Obongalistic day with another Obonga information, my people. On a welcome. Hmm. My people, when I don't hear say you the Duce, you don't they provoke for Premier and them brothers. You the Duce they provoke for the Aligues because he say the Aligues are sabotaging him or say nobody no be like this. Everything supposed to go. Say how can you uh, 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 Premier elder brother can return a bride price without any agreement, without you know consulting him, without contacting him? Say in no day around, do you see they run around? How Ingo arrange himself? Or they do something. They do the things where they bother him. Say a lot of things are around him now. Saying they do, they try to arrange himself, arrange in life, package in life, bring everything together. Now so they begin the column from village. You say, Kwame elder brother, and the kinsmen they their village. Say they come into the community. They disturb, say they want to return bride price. They come to say, why premier that brother going to go to intimidate them with soldiers? Waiting which day where that one begin, say whether they don't even the quarrel before or what. Say, you know, understand though, and you know, no waiting the people they do. But as far as he's concerned, he has not collected his bride price and he will never collect his bride price. So, my people, you they do check on the verse. I seen they call him Papa the verse, they complain, say, make him Papa no try collect any bride price from anybody because when he married me, everybody was there. He was the one that stayed there with him, Papa, and they carry me a give him. Why now that they want to give the bride price? That two of them are supposed to be available, that he's supposed to be there and me supposed to be there. How can the kinsmen come to drop bride price in their compound and go? Say it is not the idea thing. And Papa got tell and say no. Say making no worry. Say the thing is already at the customary court. And the customary court is already looking into it. If the bride price is already with the customary court and everything they bring. And the court say they will invite them and uh, arrange a discussion and see how everything will be settled amicably because it's a traditional thing. It's a traditional thing. And according to the custom of the people, they will look at the custom of the two communities and see how they will bring them together and settle this amicable that it's not it's not a, an issue the only thing is that the man say you know one divorce the woman say one divorce so it's, it's also something that happens in marriage say but there is nothing you cannot resolve so in papa the tell us may you no know, disturb himself say the court the customer the court is already in charge you the do you tell him papa say no no waiting the talk say he's going to a linguist family right now Making go tell him, brother, what did he be? Because him be a guy put up, put up for no visa. Him be say, person no go talk. Whether he know who him be or who him friends be. Say if uh, we met other brother and mess up, say he go deal with them. Make him know they use him, they intimidate them, or say no be like that. So everybody be, what did he be for his own house? Say me nobody can they intimidate them, nobody can they disturb him. And Papa tell us, make him know do something where he know, where him go regret, where no go yield any result because what did the they do now will be separated which is say he has gone far and uh, he has filled all the forms they gave him to fill and things are working out well for that bride price to return back to the alleguas because the duchess have not collected the bride price and are not ready to collect the bride price my people not be smart you know so you the duchess you know him now coconut head now stop on guy you know even listening to him papa he won't match straight much straight go to the Aligues. As you let the reach the Aligues compound, he start making trouble. In fact, he started from the gate, start making trouble. Say the people, you know, understand what the people they do. Say, no, no, why everybody hate them. Say, no, no, why the people of Aligues, they don't even have any regard for them. How can they say they come to return bride price and he was not around, that they called them on phone, that they should not try it, and they went ahead and dropped it there. What do they mean? What do they mean by dropping the bride price there and go? Is it that uh, he, they, 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 they don't want him to, to continue his marriage? Tomorrow, somebody will say that he's the one that spoiled the marriage. Where are them and their daughter is the one causing problem? Why are they, the daughter is in high court, Ikecha High Court, asking for divorce? 
the the the, the family, the kinsmen are here in a, in a, in the community asking for divorce. What is that? Who is divorcing who and what has happened? Nobody remembers how we started. Nobody remembers how I was with her, how I made her a woman. Nobody remembered how I touched her up and brushed her. And now everybody is saying, uh, because I had another wife or I, I wanted to go into polygamy, everybody clapping and supporting me to leave. Say nothing will happen like that. So you let Duce come meet and leave and tell them, say he's so disappointed with the issue. And he now sat down because at, because the community had already come to return the bride price. Nobody was listening to him. He went to one of the uncles of Pime and was talking to the man and say, I have never divorced my wife. I still have my wife on my person because until the court says so. So will you people returning the bride price is not jail because I was not there and I'm not the one that received it from you. So it is not proper the way you return the bride price. So please go back to my father's house and collect the bride price because you are the one that returned it. Go and collect it until the time that the Kaja High Court finishes their cage and they will give us directives on what to do so that we will do it once and for all. My people, you let the come meet the man. They tell the man, say, make one come back, come collect on a bride price. Because I don't know where I want to keep her more. When I pay my bride price, see who I give up. I'm, he mentioned the name of the man that collected it. Say, I gave it to him. He brought my wife and hand over to me. And they pray for me. The entire community pray for me. Why can you people now return over from back door? Begin to return a bride price that I paid normally. It is very bad and I don't like it. Please, Mona, no do that kind of thing. I demand tell him, see, bride price is returned when the woman who you pay the bride price for says she's no longer going to continue in the marriage. If the woman says so, there is nothing again. The marriage is not longer existing. So the best thing is for the people to return the bride price so that everybody will be free. But that he doesn't understand where, why he, he and his people are rejecting the bride price. That that is the best thing to do right now is to return the bride price and everybody uh, remain free. Say, whether you collect the bride price or you don't collect it. Our daughter has told us several days, several days, say she know they marry you again. And that is where we are. And you know, it's not something we begin to ask questions or begin to talk. Because questions and talk will come up. When in a situation where our daughter had not made up her mind, we don't actually know what happened between you. It is only you and our daughter that can tell us exactly what transpired between you guys. But all we know is that she has instructed us severally, severally, say she know the marry again. And I will talk to you as a son, as a loving son, because I will tell you the truth. We love you so much. And the entire, uh, the entire community here also love you so much because we always, we know how much we love you and we know how much we cherish your family because of your father. Because when day you come to marry this, our daughter, the, the father welcomed you guys as his own because he said your father has a relationship with him. And that is why everybody was so happy that our daughter is going to a safe hand, a safe hand and is going to a hand that knows her very well. And since the father has already declared or decided that your father is close to him. So there's nothing again anybody can say because we are so happy to have, you know, had a, an old relationship being renewed through you and uh, our daughter Mary. So, but all of a sudden, some years later, we begin to hear say, Mary says she's not marrying you again. Whatever is the case, I don't know. That one of the things we heard was that you are going into polygamy, you want to marry more than one wife, and she said, by her own strategy, by her own understanding, and by her own policy, she is not going to be into in a marriage where she will be numbered in her home, or she will be sharing her man with another woman. So if that's exactly what you want to do, that she's calling it off, she's not part of the marriage. There is not, this is something that, the only thing that will solve the situation now is that if we have heard that 
you are no longer married. And we said, okay, but he has changed. You can start. But you are still married to another to second wife. And what are we talking about? You say you are not collecting the bride price. So there is no place it can happen. Traditionally, everybody knows that you are married to another woman from Umoji, from Mogalo's family. We have gotten the whole gist. And every day, every day, now people come here to lecture us and tell us so many things about you. Open the social media, we hear so many things. Whether they are true or not is not what we are talking about. But what we say is that we're here. So why are you not telling us, like doing like as if we don't know what we're talking about? Our daughter said she's not marrying again. And that is where we are standing. And you know, they now come down and beg the man. I say, this is one of the challenges I have. I have begged you guys severally. I have cried. I have shouted. I have quarreled. All I have been saying is that I don't want to divorce your daughter because your daughter is part of my life. Your daughter is part of my life and I don't think I can survive it without her. You know, please help me. You push should help me reconcile this marriage instead of helping us to break it. Because what you guys are doing is to help us cut off the marriage instead of helping us to reconcile it. And, you know, according to Igbo tradition, our work should have been how to find a way to reconcile instead of breaking. I have told you I love your daughter so much and I don't want to marry any other person. See, my father told me what, how everything happened. My father even told me that he has gone to the customary court. My father even told me the customary court is like, planning to come and meet you guys. But all those processes I don't want. I don't want anything to break the marriage, whether it will be for you or for me. Whether you will succeed or me to succeed, that's not what I want. What I want is that I just want my wife back. I want to reunite with her and I want us to start our life back. All these masmos where they happen, all these issues are not what I am in for. I don't want those things. So please, I need someone that will help me talk to me and her siblings and see how we can end this issue once and for us. Me is me and I am me. Me is my life and I'm in her life. And I will tell you the truth. None of us can exist well without each other. Please help me. The man said, okay, any other time the issue come up, that he, he will know what to say. But right now, right now, that there is nothing to talk about. The bright price, as far as the community is concerned, they have returned the bright price until the customary court comes and they will see how the customary court is going to end the whole thing or going to judge their own. But as for now, nobody goes to your father's place to collect the, the bright price and nobody actually is ready to you know talk about the bright price because as far as they are concerned, they are waiting for the, uh, the October 15th court case uh, they on that divorce because everything traditionally has been settled. As long as they brought all those things to your community, nobody is ready again to collect anything from your community back to our community. Those things are not possible, you know. It is, it's a far distance actually and we have taken the, the pain to do that, you know. When a community kindred or any kinsmen take a pen to do such thing traditionally it's not something it's not a joke it's not a joke no matter how it's done it's not a joke so they should just manage it right now and let them wait and see what happened either at the customary court or at the uh ikeja high court my people know be smart you know you they do just see the cry you they do just see the cry because this is this is where the issue is you want to marry me you want to marry you to us and you want because you want to be in polygam the woman said, I don't want to be in polygamy. And you have never shown any sign of not going into polygamy again. Even though the woman, whether you show or you don't show, the woman has moved on. As it is right now, Queen May has moved on and had made it known to you guys every day, every time that she has moved on. She is not interested in whatever anybody is saying about the relationship. She is not interested in you guys feeling or not feeling. She is not interested in anything anybody say. All she's saying her own is that she had moved on and is not interested again. That people should leave her alone. Why is it so much, so difficult for us to understand what this woman is saying and leave her alone? Why is it so difficult for you, you Leduchi, and your people to understand that this lady doesn't want you guys again. Why is it so difficult for you guys to understand that the lady mean, meant her, what she's saying and meant business? That is the situation. The lady said, I don't want again and should be allowed. Should be allowed. That's just what we're talking about. 
Our royal queen may doesn't take decision easily because some people may even think that from the first day you did this thing, that was the day that Queen May would have worked out. Okay, let's think about it. You want to come back. One of the things that Queen May would demand if you ask her by the community, what is it that can make this relationship to be reconciled? I think one of the greatest things that our royal Queen May will ask, and that is one of the most important things to her, and that is one of the things that made her to cut off this relationship, is that her son, Kambele, should be returned back to her. Is it possible? Because it is this basbos, it is this issue, it is this cost, this marriage, uh, this thing, it is this marriage hostility, it is this uh, polygamous you know, basbos that caused the buy of Kambilichuku. And you know this relationship between the, the first son and her mother, and his mother. Just think of that relationship, just think of how close they are, just think of how they play together, a mother and the first son. And you, they are, and they, you separated them by bringing something that caused... You've been dragging this family on social media without minding the mental health of the beginner. And you don't know how the mental health is. And the thing affected Kambele's mental health and crashed it. And Kambele, by Now you're talking about you love your wife so much. Is it all about me? Is it all about me? What about the, the Pekin that followed her? Is it all about me? What about every other thing? So you don't care about Kambele? Okay, if you can make Kambele come back to life, yes, if you can make Kambele come back to life, I believe personally that it's one of the things that can bring our royal queen May back. If you can make Kambele come back to life, because Kambele is very close to her, and she is close to Kambele, and Kambele's spy penned her so much, and it was because of Kambele's spy that made her to take that decision of going to court to bring a restraining order that you should not near the mansion and also to file for the divorce because until Kambele by she was still thinking, is it possible or is it not possible? Do, does this man really meant what he's saying or he's not making mean it? Does he mean, is it, is it over? What is actually happening to me? What's happening to my marriage? The marriage I guided for so years, guided so much. The marriage that I, I invested all my life, all my time in. What actually is happening now? Does he mean that this marriage is ending like this? What is happening? What is happening? This is the question that the woman keeps asking herself every day without getting any reasonable answer. She was just looking at it up and down, crying inside, you know, being devastated. Even to do business was a problem. Until one day she woke up from sleep, the greatest of the greatest of the trouble happened. She 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 found out that the the son of sixteen years slumped and by, and what did you do? Now you're coming, you you you, you're coming to you know pretend to be a very good husband who doesn't want to divorce the wife he loves so much. Where were you when your first son by? Where were you during the morning days? Where were you? Were you with your wife? Where you people discussed together of the funeral? Where you people together on morning? Were you people together to ask what happened? Did you even come back home to ask? Where were you when your son by that's just exactly the issue? So this is one of the things that the woman I know will demand. Hmm? Can you provide my son back again? Can you provide my son back again? Because the woman had decided to stay on her own, decided to move on in life. And funny enough. God, who knows the way he repairs people who are, who, are, who are punished or who are oppressed. God, who is the God of the oppressed and who knows the way to repair the people that are being oppressed, has started repairing her. Right now, right now, she's one of the richest women in Nigeria. She's one of the richest businesswomen in Nigeria. Everything she lays her hand on is blessed. God is blessing her morning, afternoon, night. God is blessing the work of her hand. God has you know, repaid her with blessing, showing grace upon her, showing her everything that God, only God himself shows to his own, his own. And right now, because you are seeing the manifestation of what God is doing in her life, that is why everybody knows and think you are coming back to beg that he should come back. Pime is not interested in coming back, our brother, you, you, you. No matter how you beg, our royal Pime had moved on. The only thing I would suggest to you to do, since they have returned the bride price and dropped it in your father's house, even when your father and you are rejecting it, what I would suggest that you should do is to move on. As we may have moved on, why don't you go ahead and move on? 
Move on with your life. Move on with your marriage with Judy. Move on with everything you're doing. Because you say Judy brought a very important thing to your table. That Judy brought peace to your table. That Judy brought prosperity to your table. That Judy brought everything you can think of to your table. Fine and good. Why don't you go ahead with whatever Judy brought to your table and continue to live with Judy? Why are you right now seeking for validation? Trying to make, trying to paint the scenario as if it's me that is the problem. No, you are actually, you are actually the one that caused the problem. Ab initio. Why don't you go and think about what, how you have failed yourself, failed your community, failed your family, failed your kingdom, and failed the nation by leaving your wife lonely and going to attach yourself to a strange woman. Then, since you said you want to go into this polygamy, and the polygamy began in your life, from the first day you began this openly uh, lifestyle of polygamy, when you announced on social media that you are now a proud, a proud polygamist, what have you achieved, our brother? You compare your life between Judy, you, between when you are with Premier and when you, you are now with Judy, what is it? You can look at when you are with Premier, it was all about celebration of life. It was all about shows, all about good things. There was no court case. There was no problem. There was no dragging of anybody. But since Judy came on board, you started dragging your wife, dragging your picking them, dragging every friend of your wife, dragging everybody that comes close to your wife. And your life has been down, down. All the endorsement you had, all the beauties you have, all the beauties of your career, everything had gone down and had gone down into to completely down that you can't boast of anything today. You can say, this is what I have, or this is what I have gotten as a human being. Everything you should have had or you should have gotten is down. Your endorsements are gone. Your monies are gone. Your career is gone. Because before, 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 you are among the highest end movie stars in Nigeria. But right now, nobody calls you for movie set. Nobody gives you a rule. Nobody calls you into a movie set. You just go to the cushion to go and see whether you can get something. You don't if you are not even sure. Before, before you reject rules, but now you accept every kind of rule you are given because you have left that position, everybody knows it. People just call you when there's no other person to do it. Look at all the endorsements you had. The people, the person that replaced you in life via endorsement is not even up to you when compared in acting. It's not up to you. You were better. Everybody knows. Then you were better. But now you are not better because if nobody will endorse you because everybody knows that you have an issue with your wife and you have so much people on social media hate you. When they read your comment, they see how, how much people that hate you. And because of that, nobody gives you endorsement. So look at your lifestyle has fallen. Look at it. You were a landlord before you meet Judy because you had a mansion with your wife. And right now, since you are with Judy, you are now a tenant. To the extent that the landlord that, that they are sending you out, they are giving you quick notice. I don't know how you feel. I feel your pain, actually. I don't know how you feel that you are being given a quick notice. A quick notice. A whole you, 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 you that had a mansion in Aja Estate is now suffering quick notice in the hand of a, a, a landlord. You know how painful it is. And what is it that cost it? What cost it is because you refuse to hold your bola. You refused to withdraw your bola from the because of Judy Austin, and Judy Austin held you bound acoustically, and that is why everything had changed, and there is nothing, I mean, there is nothing you can show for it right now because Judy Austin has finished everything about you. Just, just look at it. Since Judy Austin came into your life, what have you achieved? Nothing and nothing and nothing. And you are still insisting to remain with Judy Austin and to remain with Premier at the same time because you want to create, you want to just make a, a, a point. We want to make a point. What You want to prove a point. What point are you proving? Who are you proving a point for? What point are you proving? That is not, that is arrant nonsense. That's not it. Because this is not who you are known to be. Right now you've lost everything and you are not even thinking of it. So just look at it. Judy Austin has dried you and drained you. Julie, I mean, our royal premier is not interested in you again. And that's one thing about marriage. A woman sees you, like you, and accepts you to marry her. And right now, and you people agree, accept you to marry her because you propose for marriage. And 
the marriage is taking place. But right now, the, the scenario in grand is that a woman who accepted you before, say me, I don't accept you again. Say that thing, why I agree before, I don't agree again. Because waiting at the scene now, don't be waiting at this. I think say that happened. So I am not marrying again. That is exactly the situation on ground. So, and he has, she has already pushed the king's men and the community men to return the bride price to you. So why are you making it so difficult? My brother, you, you, you. Why are you making it so difficult? Because it's all your fault. It's all your fault. This is a woman you had at the platter of gold. It's all your fault. It's all your fault. You see, I, I just pitied you when I learned that you came around at Aja Estate seeing a way that we may can assist you get a house or allow you in even without a, a court, even with the court order against you to come back to Aja Estate. You see, why people are criticizing your action of coming back to Aja Estate to look for a place to stay with, you, with me, I didn't see it that way. I saw a desperate man who is ready to go to Kirikiri because the suffering is so much on him. That was what I saw and that was what I thought in my heart when I heard that action about you. I saw a desperate man who is ready to move to Kirikiri. If, if it is to go to Kirikiri, I am ready to go to Kirikiri. I don't want to remain like this. How can a landlord be sent out by another landlord as a tenant? That is what I saw in you. You know, when I saw that you came and you were locked out at a jail mansion and you're still insisting until May comes back. And when they reminded you that there is a court order against you, you give, you give, you don't, you don't give a damn. It's because you are desperate. It's because there is an issue, a very serious issue. And how can you see, you leave you? How can you allow yourself to deteriorate to that level? How can you allow yourself to be shamed and embarrassed up to that level that you can even come to knock at the door of your enemy to pass a night in his house because you are so desperate to have a place to lay your head? How can? And one of the reasons also that somebody told us or let us know is that you don't like the idea that our royal queen may has been welcoming or, yes, has been having meetings and welcoming uh, her MD into that house. So somebody let us know that that is one of the reasons why you are coming back to the mansion, that you know that if your presence is there, that Chris is the one, the MD of our royal queen may will not be visiting that mansion because Chris has been coming to the mansion and Chris has been assisting to see how they can renovate the mansion, reface the mansion and make it a new and make it a place that if you see it, you will not recognize. I know that your friends must have told you how this work is going seriously to make sure the mansion has a new face and you don't like it. I, I, it touched me as a situation where you are no longer, you now, you don't have a place to stay and you wanted to come back to your house. I see it as it's very painful. A mansion you were part of some, so many years ago. I don't want to know, according to waiting the court talk, whether you contributed to it or not, but it was when you were still married to Queen May that that mansion was raised in your name and Queen May's name. Whether you contributed Tenkubo or not, that should have been your house if you have not been the one to cause problem that caused this problem for yourself. Whether your money is in the mansion or not wouldn't have been what we're talking about now if there was no issue. If it's, you were still living when you were living with your sugar... Remember sugar? That was what you used to call your wife. If you were still living when you, with your sugar, nobody would have remembered that you contributed or not. But because you are no longer with your sugar, you left her. You, you were so wicked. So, so wicked that sometimes somebody will say, what is happening to you now is even smaller than what's supposed to happen to you. Because the way you treated this woman, I don't know whether you still remember it. The way you treated this woman was so cruel, was so bad, was so wicked. Was every showed every every vice of wickedness against her. But right now you are pretending to be the victim here. You are pretending to be the one oppressed here. You are pretending that Queen May is the wicked one here, and you are the innocent one. You are pretending that you are a good man, and she is a bad man. That is the situation. So going back to Nteje to start raking and making noise in Nteje doesn't hold any water. 
I thank God that our lawyer Kwimbe elder brother didn't arrest you. Because that's the only thing. Because you don't supposed to near in that compound again. Because everything that brings you close to the compound has been cut off. It's not a matter of joke. Traditionally, you have been cut off from that Aligwe's family. And you should not even near your two legs there again. After all, there are still several things that you as a person and you as a family is holding against Aligwe's. There are still some of their property they need to reclaim that they have not reclaimed. But thank God for your mom, who is a sincere person, who knows where all the properties are, and who will never allow you and your you and your household to take over. And we know that blessing 07, the elder sister to Queen May is coming back. And you still hold another issue with her because she's coming back for her 480 million. You are still talking about small divorce. You have not remembered their owing blessing. 480 million and blessing is still an Aligwe. You are owing one of the Aligwe's 480 million, and that's a very serious thing. You are coming back to talk about the bride price, you didn't come back to talk about the 480 million you are owing to blessing. That's a very serious case, and very soon, blessing will catch up her flight and come back to Nigeria and come to claim her money. And if blessing comes to claim her money, that will be another issue. And we are here, what are we talking about? The common bride price you pay, that is just how much. It is a very big shame. It is a very big shame that you are owing blessing 480 million. You are owing the Aligwe's properties of their dad because none of them is available around to talk about it. They left it in the hand of you and your brothers. You are owing them of companies that are that you guys are managing, your, you and your brothers are managing. And you are still talking as if you are the one doing doing favor to the Aligwe's. It is, it, is, it is totally unacceptable. I think what you should have been doing is to find, are you good at empowering this divorce to make sure that Queen May is happy and see whether you can beg and uh, so that she can allow some certain things to beg. Do you think you will not pay the, and, the 480 million? It's not possible now. You will pay, uh, our, uh, you will pay blessing her money so you leduchi sometimes i think at this age you are no longer a kid you are 42 years you should be listening rationally and you'll be thinking about things you'll be looking at issues exactly the way they are reasoning rationally and make sure you find a way to resolve your issue not all these things you are trying oh, you are past the the the, the, the stage of this high energy on quarrel without having any intelligent reason behind to you know back up your quarrel so my people, now so they just reach our table. I say, make I touch light and wait on. As they just on food, I'll keep breaking to you. Ledochia is shouting and making noise that the Aligues, uh returned the bride price when he is not in the house, that he is the one that married to Queen May. And before the bride price is returned, he himself will be Yule Doche with his daddy and kinsmen. And Queen May will be their own daughter with and uh, with and uh, with her siblings or any representative from the family and kinsmen should have been present the time the bride price will be returned. I don't know the tradition that he's trying to quote, but what I'm saying is that the Aligues has done what they have done. The, uh, the bride price is already in the hand of the Yule Doches. Sapete Duce said he has taken it to the customary court. When the court talks, when the customary court says something or when any issue about it is raised again, I will still bring to you people. If you have not subscribed to our channel, please do so. This is Maureen G. Steven. Maureen say make I greet on her. Make I salute on her with different, different styles of salute, depending on where and that they listen to us. In say on a well done, on a well done. Say love on a well, I love on a well well. Say make I help and touch like this just and bring it here. I know so now on a love her and on a go appreciate all this that we have said. I'm on a super chant her, I'm on a super thank her, and God will bless on her as on a they support more in gist and everything we more in they do in Jesus' name. Amen. My people, make on have a nice day. Bye.